You have come to this church so that the Lord may seal your love in the presence of all those present and myself. Christ Jesus blesses your love. He has already consecrated you in baptism and by a special sacrament, he strengthens you to fulfill the duties of your married life. And so, Eric and Shannon, have you come here of your own free will and without compulsion to marry each other? Say it a little louder before being at home. What you yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> you got that? <laughs> Shannon, my darling, uh, my, my sweet little girl, where do I start? And, and I thought, well, I'll think about some of the firsts, like your first soccer game. Remember that? You were about four, and you hadn't shown much interest in your brother's games, nor the couple practices that we had, if you could call them practices with four-year-olds. And I remember the first time I screamed at you to move your feet. <laughs> but I thought, you know, Shannon loves dance, and if she's not the next Mia Ham, I said, that's okay. She's still my sweet little girl. Well, the first soccer game, rep blows the whistle. Shannon scored six goals in the first half. And I thought, not only is she a great dancer and a sweet girl, but she's a badass soccer player. And I said, I think we have something here. The distance between us won't get in between us And no tone apart we know Finding our way back home Eric has definitely found the right girl. He knew this immediately. I'm not sure if Eric even remembers this, but after they went on their first date, he texted me that Shannon was going to be my sister-in-law. And here we are. Shannon and I have gotten along great from the beginning. It was pretty much the three of us as roommates uh, in New York for a couple of years. We would go out all the time to new restaurants and bars, and the transition from hanging out just me and Eric to Eric, Shannon, and I was seamless. She has a great heart, is incredibly personable, and obviously fashionable. I'm more than happy to welcome her to our family, and to me, she has been family for some time now. The distance between us will get in between us and don't turn apart, you know. Left in the silence, how lonely the night gets hold on to it all, you know. Finding our way back home. Shannon, I also remember your first dance recital. You took my breath away when I saw you walk on stage. You were taller than anyone. You walked with more confidence. The smile just took up the whole stage. And by the way, you knew your steps better than anyone. And I said, again, that's my sweet little girl. And I was so proud. Hi. The comedian Bill Burr, one of my favorite quotes ever, someone asked him about why the stand-up comedy game is so tough and why it's unfair. And what he said was, you know what? Become undeniable. When was the last time you went on stage and you made the person who followed you bomb? Become undeniable, do that over and over again. You don't need to fight your way into the door. I spent so long thinking about a word for this wedding, for everyone, for the both of you, your relationship, you separately. You're both undeniable. Whatever you start, not only do you finish, but you do it undeniably. To wrap it up, it, it's the small things that make y'all perfect that I love. Everything y'all do on your own is undeniable, but together your relationship is the most undeniable thing I've ever seen in my life. And to quote my favorite poet and lyricist, Gucci Man, real recognize real. Raise your glasses for Shannon and Eric. We swore we traveled, darling, side by side. We'd help each other stay in stride, but each lover's steps fall so differently. But I'll wait for you, and if I should fall behind, wait for me. Now, everyone dreams of love lasting and true. Oh, but you and I know what the world can do. Let's make our steps clear that the other may see that I'll wait for you and if I should fall behind, wait for me. Now there's a beautiful river in the valley ahead. I'll wait for you. And should I fall behind, wait for me. Darling, I'll wait for you. And with that, 
I would like to once again wish Shan and Eric great happiness. Slasha. And now I would like to ask my, my sweet little girl to come up and dance with me. And Shannon, if I should fall behind, please wait for me. Our celebration is not quite ended, but we have one moment to do before we end. And that is to ask our new couple to be very romantic. The perfect love that Jesus gave was really an act of love. And so, kiss. <laughs> It's time to introduce the newlyweds, your bride and groom, Mr. and Mrs. Eric Subin. Give it up for the newlyweds. first met Eric, Eric introduced himself and said, oh yeah, the bags are in the trunk, go ahead and get them. <laughs> and, any, and anyone who knows me, I was like, yeah, I'm not doing that. But, um, but Eric, I, I sat for a second, I was like, oh, he's perfect for Shannon. That's, a, that's amazing. Like, oh, he's perfect for Shannon. So I loved Eric from the first beat. Welcome to the family, we love you. Yeah. <laughs>